Today I want to talk about learning management system and how to integrate such an LMS into the MINT system. The normal situation is this, we have a couple of students and we have an instructor in a classroom situation. However, today very often we have a very different situation. We don't have any instructor, we just have a student performing some computer-based training. And the student receives the training from an internet cloud. It is important to mention here that this training content must be SCORM compatible. Otherwise, it will not work with the MINT system. Also, we don't show you in this video how to create such SCORM compliant content. We assume that you have the training content. We rather show you how to prepare the web assistant so that you can upload the content and that you can receive the training results and record them back in the web assistant. Okay, so the first very important thing that you have to understand is that every content is represented by a record item. That's important. So we have to create a new record item if we have new content. And that's what I'm going to show you now. We go into our record item tree here. And before we actually add a new content to the LMS subtree, I want to draw your attention to certain properties. And at this time, I'm talking about record item properties. There are two important properties for the record items that represent LMS content. One is this LMS and that is of type file and you can see with this icon that's a preference. This at the end is the property where you add your file, the content that you prepared. And then we have another property which is called LMS package uploaded. That tells us if the content has been uploaded or not. These are record item properties, so don't get that wrong. Now we are going to create a new record item like this and you can give this a content. So let's say we call it new quiz, for example. And this is our LMS property. So here now you go and tell the system where is your SCORM content. Let's say it's this quiz 5 zip. This is the SCORM compliant content that you have to create with an appropriate tool. Click on open. Here we are. And at the moment, by default, this is a read only property. It is set to now, right? The content has not been uploaded. There are now two possibilities. If you click on OK, typically the system is prepared so that new content is uploaded on the hour, once an hour. But if you want to do it quicker, you can select it, right mouse click and say, upload LMS package. Then it is done now, right? You don't have to wait until the full hour. It is done immediately. So if we look into this record item again, you will see LMS package uploaded. Yes, that tells you that the content is now in our SCORM cloud. We close this and we go to the Mint page. There are two possibilities basically to assign human resource to this computer-based training or to this LMS content. One is it could be part of a complete curriculum. This is something that I'm going to show you in my next video. In this video, you want to assign one of these human resources to do this training. So let's say, for example, a and P Mechanic 3 is assigned to this new quiz. Right, you just assign it, it's a record item. And then there are even more read-only properties. There are more read-only properties. And these are the properties that are filled by the SCORM cloud automatically once the human resource has completed or has performed the LMS content, the web-based training. Okay, so at this moment, you don't have to do anything here. It's read only anyway. You just click on apply. These values will be filled automatically. So we click on apply. And that's all you have to do. Now, this A&P Mechanic 3 
is registered for this web-based training. Okay, so let's assume, for example, he goes into iPhone or any other smartphone, like this. He opens that to perform his training. Okay, here we are. We open the Safari browser on the iPhone and we enter the our URL. We log in. And start the web-based training new quiz this is you can see the one that we just created let's go here and we launch the class so i think it is better to uh, rotate the iphone okay here we are and now the student says, Mint is the number one TMS. That's true, of course. Submit. And there is another question. Mint also creates SCORM content. We know that's not true, but let's assume we answer this question not cor in the correct way. So we say also true, submit. And now the system tells us you scored 10 points. That's all based on the, uh, the web-based training, on the content. Uh, in this example, uh, the maximum score was 20, one correct question, so and with one attempt. Everything is fine. Now, this person did the training. Let's see how this looks like. We go to new quiz. Let's say how he did this, right? And now you can see here that our values are filled, right? The seconds it took us, the LMS score, the LMS success, everything is recorded here. This is the way that the SCORM cloud sends the results back into the properties of the resource record item. And in my next video, I'll show you how to set it up so that the LMS content is part of a curriculum.